Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Erica and I'm so glad that you are here for today's video because it is time for another crafty tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these no-sew bat pillows. All right, y'all, so for this craft, you're not going to need very many supplies. You are going to need some black felt material. I actually got this small little roll at the Dollar Tree for $1.25, and it is 11.75 inches by 42 inches. You're also going to need some green buttons or whatever color you really want for your eyes. I got this large pack of buttons off of Amazon, and it was super cheap. You're also going to need a hot glue gun, some scissors, a poster board, which I also got from the Dollar Tree, and some polyfill or some other type of stuffing filler. All right, y'all, that's all you're gonna need for this craft, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So first, what I'm gonna do is cut out my little stencils. So I'm going to fold this piece of poster board in half so that my bats will be more symmetrical when I cut them out. So now that I have it folded in half, I'm going to draw half of the bat on one side and cut it out. That way when I unfold it, it will be a perfectly symmetrical bat. All right, so now we have our bat cut out. So now we have a nice symmetrical little bat here. Okay, so now I just have to lay my stencil on there and trace it and then cut it out. All right, so now we have two bats cut out. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat up my hot glue gun. And what we're gonna do is put a little bit of hot glue all around the edge, pretty close to the edge, and almost completely seal it in except for one spot. And then that's where we will add our stuffing. Now, if you can sew, obviously don't completely cut these apart and you could just stuff them and sew them like normal. I cannot sew, so I'm doing it this way, which is just super easy for me because as you can see, this is a pretty small little pillow and I'm gonna make some even smaller bats for like vase fillers or bowl fillers or to even go on some like tiered trays or something. So this is gonna be the biggest bat that we are doing. All right, so I've left like the top of the wing open and I will glue that shut momentarily. So now I'm just gonna take some polyfill and start stuffing our bat. All 
right so now that we are done stuffing our bat now i just have this one last little space right here that i need to add some hot glue so that we can completely shut it All right, y'all, so now I am technically done with this bat, but I kind of decided that I wanna take some of this silver glitter 3D puffy paint, and I'm just going to do some like little dash lines all the way around the bat, cause I think it'll just give it a little added character. All right, so here we are done painting all of the puffy paint little dashes around the edges. So now I'm gonna let this completely dry and it shouldn't be super white once it dries. It'll be just a silver glitter, which I think will look super nice. So I'm gonna set this one aside and let's continue working on these bats. All right, y'all, well, there you have it. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I did. If you did like it, please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. And if you're watching this video, but you're not subscribed to my channel, then make sure you click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out my future videos. I would greatly appreciate the follow. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.